Okay, guys. It's Grim here. And welcome to Death Road to Canada. Oh, starting a new game. So, I've actually played this game before. And I have quite a few characters. Sometimes I don't have a buddy. Wow, I should be introducing this game, but it's okay. The best, you can actually have two of the same characters. That's hilarious. Uh, one of my favorite characters types you should have is uh, Gungeoneer and Calm Under Fire. Some people usually prefer Gun Collector because you get guns at the start. But I, I, I mainly uh, choose Gungeoneer because I like the, the points that get balanced into... Oh, shoot. It's the wrong button. But I was saying, uh, Gungeoneer, you get engineering points. So, that's a lot better. So, this game is kind of like Oregon Trail mixed with um, uh, action RPG. Okay. To start the journey. The group decides to grab some supplies from a nearby location. In order to survive the death road, you'll need to hoard as many supplies as you can. You will also need to find ways to train and grow your team. Well, yeah. Uh, friend of dog. We can recruit friends. I usually don't play this because I like to use the human characters, but the dogs are pretty fun. Um, when you first start, you want to you want to hope that you get rest stop. Rest stop is the best place you can get loot at from personal experience. Now I would recommend playing this game with a controller as I have tried playing this game with a... Uh... Oh crap, I haven't played this game in a while. I would recommend playing this game on controller because the keyboard controls are really bad. The mouse doesn't do anything. You move around with up, down, left, right. And you attack with Z or X, I think. The controller just makes this game a lot easier. Trust me. Alright, I'm getting my ass kicked. This is not a good weapon. You start with a crowbar, which is like the worst weapon. A, a gun engineer. If you use guns, you, you might as well give up on melee. You can train up to train your character up. But personally, I feel that having a mixed team would be good. I feel like starting with. Uh, the Share <laughs> was a bad idea. I just wanted to play with her on the team. So. Well, that gives you one gas. You might think it's useless. Um, it is pretty useless, but once you accumulate throughout multiple games of um, looting from toilets, you get to encounter the toilet genie. And you can make a wish. Make a wish foundation. I'm just joking. It increased stats, I think. Miserable camping. Miserable camping. Uh, I can understand that. As a person who's gone on a few camping trips, like legit camping trips, where you portage through places and you gotta sleep in the wild and you gotta paddle non stop your canoe. It's not fun. Share it with everybody. Everyone learns, everybody learns a valuable lesson about sharing by trying to split an already tiny candy bar. <laughs> Maybe, sort of. Uh, Oliver's loyalty reviewed. Oliver's morale increases, that's good. Loyalty reviewed. Okay, that's good. Good loyalty on both characters. Generally, for the gun runner, I, I 
I, I know all his stats and he's my favorite because he, he's pretty good. Gunrunner Oliver is unknown to anyone. Allergic to everything in Canada. Then why the hell are you going to Canada? God damn it. Share doesn't hold eye contact. Somebody shy. Hold up. Okay, we're good. We don't have a medic, but it's okay. Yep. Clinic. You can just evade zombies too. Most of the time. I recommend doing that. such a grim situation. It's as if my life was not depressing. <sighs> I've actually never been here. basically heals you when you spray it. I've got it once before. I thought it was useless. Oh my god, three medical? That should be really good. Scalpel, the worst weapon in this game. Not really. The air horn is. I actually find the air horn really fun to use when I did it, but it is very, very annoying and terrible, actually. Sorry if I keep pronouncing things wrong, guys. I have a sore throat. So that's a good thing. 14 days to Canada. See, that's weird for me, in my perspective, because I already live in Canada. Why? Wh wh where am I trying to go? I mean, 15 days. Wow, I could drive through Canada. But we're in the US right now. Come to Canada. It's a great place. We got maple syrup. We got Tim Hortons coffee. <laughs> Alright, that's exactly the stereotype I would try to evade. You'll see, you'll see. By the end of this, when we reach uh, Canada, I meant. Obviously, we probably won't reach Canada by the end of this episode. Eventually. Let's hope not. If it's that would be worse. That would be the worst. No, I, I was I was uh, thinking about something and talking to myself. Sorry, guys. I could edit this out. Depends mm. how lazy I am, which is a pretty high number. If it's one thing I'm good at in my life, it's uh, lazy. Pretty much at max level. I really don't want the scalpel. It has no range on it. 
Is that a dead dog? Oh my god. Let's pick it up. Well, it did help us for a brief moment. It's... it's in its life. Uh, life? Can we say it's life? It's already dead, though. There's, there's this thing called a suburb. It's a location, and there's supposed to be this ferry. Okay. So what I'm worried right now is I'm actually recording my voice on a different device compared to my computer, cause I'm uh, I'm not smart. I borrowed my snow yeti to my friend and now I have to record like an idiot oh for this situation you shouldn't lift it because you don't know your strength level but I'm pretty sure I know my strength level is not enough to lift the tree taking a deer detour uh, spend some day so you lose food and gas I assume Let's plow through. It hurts the car. But as long as you're pretty high, you should, you should be okay. Don't plow through if your car is broken. Good. Morale increase. And they have good attitude. They, they didn't like you. But, ugh. It's better than having a car full of jerks. Always visit the trader camp, even if you don't have food. You, you, you might have some opportunities to make food. Okay, shady medical college. Uh, oh, we can use charm. That's great. Never buy pitchfork, because it's so heavy and it does no damage. The, the stick boot? Boot? I have no idea because it sounds so hilarious I actually want to buy it but that'd be a waste of food the tactical spear is actually good the only thing good in Canada I bet the, I bet Canada doesn't even exist it's a conspiracy what, what are you talking about what what you talking about <laughs> I would trade my fortune for a roll of table oh my god it's Rambo Hire Rambo. You want Rambo. <laughs> Don't buy shuriken. And use charm. Well, her medical sucks. Well, his name is Rambiox. But I just call him Rambo. <laughs> Has similarities to that one guy, but is a complete original character. Right. But he has like... Um, the max level is 6, so he has level 5 strength, 5 fitness, and 5 shooting. And he, started, he has a mini gun. Yep, a mini gun. Usually getting a mini gun in the normal game is really hard. But if you have him, you have me again. It's called something else though. It has a special name. Okay, let's get the dog. Klee? All the names are random generated for the dogs and some random characters. There are special characters. Like uh, Rambo. Here. That doesn't have random gen uh, names. The minigun guy has all the guns. Bullets. Knife is also one of the terriblest weapons. So. Just the kitchen knife, though. Ah, okay, it's nighttime. I'm terrible. Excuse me. Generally, dogs are not good unless you lose all your teammates everybody on your team and like no 
everybody besides the dog. And the dog becomes a super dog. If if their morale is high enough. Now you might think camping here is a good idea. Maybe, maybe not. It depends on situation. Stage is over, we can leave now. Dogs can hold one thing, but they generally would drop it in combat. But otherwise, they'll bring it back with you if it's out of combat. And they'll board. Oh. Hmm. I think it's pretty useless. I'm gonna use the hockey stick for range. Scalpel is okay with the poking, but. Do I want to focus on one person or everything? Well, we have Rambo, so let's do. Morale increase for everybody. Shooting increase for Gunrunner. That's good. Shooting. Oh my god, Rambo shooting is max. Please, medical, it ran up. <laughs> That's useless. The dog doesn't need any skills. It's a dog. <sighs> See, we're running out of food. That's the bad part about having a lot of teammates. Tinker all night. What? Oh my god. I got a bad mechanic roll. Usually isn't isn't this bad. Well, it's level 3 now, so you could repair a car. Ah, oh. why did you send share? Send Gunrunner. Oh, oh, they're all tired too. Oh, this is very bad. Very, very bad. Because we lost our car. And walking usually is a bad idea. You get very bad rolls. The car is everything in this game. Like in Oregon Trail. Or Oregon Trail. Well, we, we caught fish. That's very lucky. Plus six food. But people tend to get hurt. See, see what I'm talking about? People get hurt for no freaking reason. Even I, as a person who has not done camping. I mean, like, I don't exercise a lot. But... I went camping in the wild. I, I get tired, and you gotta hike a lot on those portages. It, it might be a uh, 300 meters. That's okay, but when you're carrying heavy stuff, it's pretty hard. And trust me, with the mosquitoes fighting you, you might as well wish you were dead or never there. But if you do a 1k or 3k, which is three kilometer meters, you, you just wish you would die. And, but stubbing your toe, seriously? But then, I guess I would be wrong. They're walking, maybe, constantly walking and never stopping unless it's lunch, dinner, or breakfast. But luckily, um, the dice kind of thing rolls to help you find cars. Always go for it. <laughs> it's not like you have a choice. Sometimes it's uh, it's in a tunnel or a straight road where you have to walk into a car and, and find a car, but there's a lot of tunnels. And sometimes it's this. You see the car immediately, but you have to go find a key inside a location. And of course, filled with zombies. There, there's always zombies. Oh, I forgot to mention, this game is a roguelike. Save and load. Save, scu save scumming is pretty useless. 
if you quit from a mission like this, your save will get deleted. Okay. Switch characters to Rambo. He'll leave the group. Guns do make a lot of noise, noise but it's also very complicated. Okay, I cleared that. But I attracted some unwanted guests. Now, where was that key? Oh, here it is. I'm sorry, I'm blind. Hmm. Beamer ball. Surprisingly pretty strong. I used to think it was weak. Oh, uh, if you have a certain amount of mechanic skill, you can hotwire cars too. I'm not sure if you can hotwire all cars. Sometimes I encounter. Sorry. Sometimes I encounter for cars where you can't hotwire it. Bustling city. The group finds the city in the afternoon. The dead swarm over it. They are idle now but they will notice you very soon. Zombie forecasts swarm size, moderate rate, aggression, sluggish, current tide near noon. <laughs> Zombie forecast. I, I would love to see uh, maybe a game where it's kind of like Rising Dead, but there's a zombie forecast before you go out. You can watch the TV for zombie forecasts. It's, it's, it's funny. I don't know how to explain. I must sound like an idiot. Oh well. Alright, let's go. Get out of the way, Grandma! Sheesh. You lived a good 60 years. Now let me live another 60 years. While you you you're in agony and absolute pain. Gosh. Old people, am I right? I was joking. Do not take it offense. I have nothing against old people. I just have something against most people. Burly man, the burly man in strange costume speaks to Gunrunner Oliver. What do you think is the most important quality in the hero? In a hero, I thought she, I thought she was gonna say, what is the most important quality in um in the world? Um, wow. What is it? Is this a dude? Oh, it's a dude. Ah, oh. is he wearing drag? I don't. I have no idea. Oh wait, is he wearing drag or is he wearing like a He-Man costume? I have fabulous power, determination, courage. I, I think he would like courage. I don't agree with you. Prince Herman says he'll help you up until you help you until you until you win. Okay, I'm not sure if he joins my team or whatever, but... Weird. Um, I mean, sure. He's got a great sword, man. A great sword can swing and hit four zombies at once, but it has a long reload time or a recharge time to swing again. If you have a high fitness character, it'd be pretty good, but it needs both good strength and Fitness. Usually katanas are, 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 are the best melee weapon. Um, the claymore or the greatsword. 
pretty powerful. And I don't mean the cheap katana. When you're red faced, are you tired? You can't even push things. Okay guys, I'm going to end it here for today. Comment down below if you want to see more. I'll put a link to the game on the description. Like if you like this video. See you guys next time. Grim out.